Hey, in this video, you're going to learn everything there is to know about Monday.com templates so you can stop wasting time creating the same boards over and over again. Hi, I'm Patrick, and over the past six years, I've helped over 150 small businesses building systems in Monday.com. If you need help with a custom project, you can always reach out. My contact details are in the description below. So without further ado, Let's get started. So we're here on monday.com and we're going to turn this board into a template. As you can see, you can you know create your own board just the way you're used to it. You can create your own views, dashboards in it. You can do whatever you want and then you can save it as a template. In this case, we're going to save it as a client board template. So every time we have a new client, we can actually use that template. What we do to get started is we click on the three dots here to click on save as a template. It's very important that your board is a main board and not a shared or private board. Otherwise, this won't be clickable. So make sure that if your board is, for example, private or shareable, that you turn it into a main board. And you can see that by this icon. This icon means a main board and this means private and this means shared. So make sure it's a main board. When it's done, click save as a template. And now you get the first question. Do you want to move the origin or duplicate the origin? This means... Do you want to keep having the original board in your workspace or do you want to just remove it completely and put it in the template center? In my case, I don't need this board anymore because I'm not using it for a specific client. But let's say you've been creating, you know, a board for one client and now it's perfect. Then you might want to turn that into a template, but you don't want to remove the original board. If that's the case, click duplicate the origin. If you don't care, you can click move the origin. Basically, it will do the same thing, only the original board will keep existing in your workspace. So I'll go for move the origin and I click next. Then we have standard template or manage templates. So a standard template is just, you know, a template. If you create it and, you know, it's in your workspace, then that's everything that happens with it. So you have a client board template, you create it in your workspace, and now it's just that specific client board template. However, if you have 20 different clients, for example, and therefore 20 different client boards, you might figure out like, hey, we actually want to change something. We want to add a column to a certain board, for example. If that's the case, it's really annoying to be adding the same column 20 times or the same automation 20 times. And that's where managed templates come in. It's only available on the enterprise plan for now, but basically it allows you to have one template at the top and that will, is basically the parent template. And if you make any change and all of the children of the child templates, so they called, will be changed. So how can you see that very well? Well, in this picture, you see it. This is the parent template and these are the children templates. So if you have, for example, created 20 different boards, 20 different smaller ones, and then you want to make a change, you just change the parent and it will be adjusted in all of the children templates. So this is how it works. It's only available on the enterprise plan and I'll make a more detailed video about that later. Let's go for the standard template for now and click next. Here you can give it a nice name. So I'll call it client board template, it's fine. And you can select the template privacy. Are other people in your team allowed to see and use the template? If not, make it private. If so, make it public, whatever you prefer. Let's click create template after. Now it's turning my board into a template board and it's actually moving it to the template center, which I'll show you in a second. This process takes a few seconds, but can take a little longer if you have a lot of information in your board. So keep that in mind. Okay, there we are. The template is created. So as you can see, we're now automatically sent to the template center. If this is not happening with you, then you can always go back and click here on the blue plus icon. If you click there, you can also go to the template center through this button. So keep that in mind. To find your templates, go to the created by me or created by your company. In my case, created by me and I see my template. If I click on it, I get back to the same page as where we, we were just sent to. So now we have two options. We can just use the template or we can edit the template. If you click use, it will just create this board from a template. So let's try that to show you how it works. Same thing here, usually takes a few seconds. And there you go, it's already done. And as you can see, we now have this client board. And if I were to create another one, the exact same way, then you would see that we have two client boards. So it's actually great if you have multiple clients, for example. You can do this for the same thing for projects or other stuff. As you can see, two templates and they're identical. Let's say we want to change this template. Then we'd go back to the template center by clicking here and then going to the template center. There you find your template, which is here and then here. And then we click edit in new tab. So if you click there, you actually see a normal monday.com board as you're used to. From here, you can just adjust this template the way you want to. You can add more items, more columns, automations, 
views, whatever you want. It's completely customizable. And when you're done, you can on the top right, click publish changes, and then everything is published. So let's show you how to do that. Let's add a numbers column, estimated time. And maybe we, in the project plan, we always know the project plan takes 10. In this case, let's go for 10 hours. That's it. The other stuff is, for example, you know, five, three, and six. If we then click publish changes and we click it again, you'll see this pop up on the bottom right that it will publish the changes. Don't change anything right now because it's making it changes. So if you change something right now, it's probably not in your update. So let's wait a second until this is marked as something like publish completed, or at least it has a green check mark. There you go, change is published. So now we go back to the original board. You can do that by clicking here and going to your product, or it's also often in the second tab, so you can just go back. Now, if we were to refresh this and we were to add a new template, Let's go for this one, click use template. You'll see that the new numbers column has been added. And there you go, the estimated time now shows up here. But as you can see in the other client boards, we don't have that column because this is something of the manage templates that I just talked about earlier. So this is very important to know. A few things to keep in mind here. If you create a template, everyone who is originally in the board will be able to make changes to your template. However, only you as the person that saves the template can make changes so you can publish them. So only you as a template owner can publish the changes. While your team can make changes, only you can publish changes. So how does that work? Well, in the template center. So if we go here and then we go to the template center, go to the template again, there's also these three dots. And if you click there, oh, sorry, I'm wrong. It's actually in the edit a new tab. So if you go there, you can actually change who is allowed to make changes to this thing. Here on the three dots on the top right, click there, you can invite team members. So if you click there, it works very similarly to, you know, adding team members to a board. Here you can just, you know, select the team member and either give them the blue crown or not. In this case, John is allowed to make changes to the template, but he's not allowed to publish it. If you give him the blue crown, he's also allowed to publish it and also to invite other people to make changes. So keep that in mind. Another tip I'd like to share with you is that you can actually add multiple components to a template. So in this case, we just have one board, but let's say we always, for every client, we create a board but we also create a document. So let's click here and create a document, which we call project description. There you go. You can, you know, add some nice, uh, I don't know, let's use some AI to create a nice one or use a template actually here to create a nice a document. And maybe we also have, always have, I don't know, let's say another folder with also a board in it, uh, just a random example. The great thing here is that if we were now to publish these changes, what will happen is if you create this template now, if you use it, it will actually show all of these components that you've just created. So it's a very interesting thing to keep in mind. Awesome, the changes are published. So let's go back to the template. Let's refresh it again. And now let's try to add it again. And what you'll see if we use the template right now is that we'll create a folder and that folder will consist of all these boards and in the folder you will see another folder so let's see there you go we have the client board template board one the document the folder and the board so this is a great way if you have multiple boards for one project for example to actually put them all in one template so keep that in mind one of the limits that you need to take into account is with regards to you know the components that you can add and the items you can have on a template so very important to know on both the standard and pro plan you can add up to 500 items in one board so keep that in mind on the enterprise plan it's two and a half thousand items so if you have a lot of tasks in your template keep in mind that you might run into a limit there and with items i also mean sub items so you know you might run into a limit a little bit sooner so play around with it and don't just assume that you can add unlimited items. That's the most important thing. The second thing is with regards to the amount of components. So each of these things here is considered a component. And in the standard plan, you can only add one component, whereas on the pro plan it's 10 and on the enterprise plan it's 30. So also keep that in mind when creating your templates. Now I have one more tip for you. If you, for example, have a great workspace and you'd like to save that whole workspace as a template, it's actually possible. So let's say we have this workspace called examples. If we want all of these boards to be in one template, we can do so. If you click here, sorry, here on the three dots, you can actually click save as template. And then same things like, do you want to move the origin? Yes, standard template. And as you can see, I'll go for workspace template. If I now click create template, it might take a little longer because usually you have more boards in a workspace, but now you can turn your whole workspace into a template. So let's see how that works. 
There you go, the template has been generated. So let's use it. And what you'll see is it works very similarly to what we had in other boards. So just consider saving a workspace as just having a lot of components in one go. So there you go. We have our workspace template and all of the boards that were in there are now also in here. Another tip I'd like to share with you is how to create templates through an automation. So let's say we have this client's overview board and every time an item is set to done, we actually want to create a template. That's actually possible. So if you click on automate on the top right and then you click on start from scratch or create from scratch, you can say when a status changes to done, for example, then create board from template. So if you click there, you can click on board and now you'll see a few things. So either you start from scratch or you use an existing template. As you can see, there's a lot of templates. So make sure that you just select the one that you want to add. You can type by searching for it. In my case, it's just called client board template. Then you can customize the name so you can automatically give it a good name. For example, let's say the name of the item. So we click on this plus icon item name dash client board for example so if the item name would be called patrick's company it would say patrick's company dash client board then do we want to have a main a private or a shareable board keep in mind that you can automatically create it you know as a normal board that everyone can see a private board that no one can see and if you're an enterprise you can automatically create a shareable board to share with guests for example now you can also go to the advanced settings by clicking here and there you can add the board to a specific workspace and folder in my case for example, I'm in examples workspace and I don't have any folders, but if I had folders, I would be able to select them here and create it automatically in that folder. Another thing is you can automatically always create the right board owners. So if you always want, for example, John to be a board owner, you can do it like this. And if you always want someone else to always be, for example, a board subscriber, so not an owner, but a member, then you can do it like that. You click done, create automation, and then within a few seconds, it will be saved. There you go. If we now add a Patrick's company and we're to change it to done, what you'll see is within a few seconds, it will show up here. There you go. All of the information starts showing up. Sometimes it takes a little few seconds to load. If you don't see it, you can also always refresh. You'll be able to see all the changes. And that's actually how you create those templates. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. If you want to receive free Monday.com tips on a weekly basis, you can subscribe to my newsletter in the description below. And if you want to work with me or my team on one of your projects, you can also reach out to me. My details are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.